head to the speaker who is recognized. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I thank the gentleman for yielding, and I thank him for his great leadership, along with uh, Chairman uh, George Miller, in bringing this important legislation to the floor. I proudly rise in support of the Employee Free Choice Act. I salute, again, the leadership of the committee in bringing this. This legislation has long enjoyed bipartisan support. It took a Democratic majority uh, to give us a chance to vote, it, a vote on it on the floor. The Employee Free Choice Act is the most important labor law reform legislation of this generation. But this legislation is about more than labor law. It is about basic workers' rights. It's about majority rule. It's about ending discrimination and harassment in the workplace over, uni uh, over organizing. And it is about protecting jobs. Under this bill, when a majority of workers say they want a union, they will get a union. It's important to note, Madam Speaker, that many of the benefits all workers, union members and others, all workers enjoy today are the results of the struggles of organized labor. And their victories have not just benefited union workers, but all workers. Millions of those who have never had the chance to join a union enjoy better wages, safer workplaces, and greater rights because of the battles fought by union members. Unions have make, helped make America the most prosperous, most productive nation in the world and with a vibrant middle class, so essential to our democracy. Organized labor has helped put America in the lead. Today, 57 million workers say that they would join a union if they had a chance to be part of an effort to keep America number one. And many, many th hundreds of thousands of employers throughout this country work cooperatively with their unions representing their employees. In fact, this bill is very fair uh, to employers, giving them recourse should they question the validity of the signatures on this card check. The Employee Free Choice Act puts democracy back in the workplace so that the decision to form a union can be made by the employees that the union would represent. This is a standard right that we routinely demand for workers around the world. Around the world. And it illustrates not only a respect for workers, but a commitment to democracy. We should accept no less a standard here in America. Many people, the NAACP, the uh, Mex Mexican American Legal and Education Defense Fund, many religious organizations uh, support this legislation because it is fair. It has been co-sponsored by 226 House Democrats. It has the support of 69% of the American people. Democrats believe that we must make our economy fair, and we began in the first 100 hours by passing the minimum wage bill with a strong bipartisan vote. Today, we will take the next step with a strong bipartisan vote to ensure that America's working families have the right to organize, because the right to organize means a better future for them and for all of us. It means a future that is economically and socially just, it's that social and economic justice that, that drew so many religious organizations in support of this legislation, a future where the workplace is safe, a future where retirement is secure. Madam Speaker, every day when we begin the Congress, we begin with a pledge to the flag and how proud we are to do that. And we all uh, take great pride in pledging the flag to very clearly enunciate under God, one nation, under God, with liberty and justice for all. That's the pledge we make every morning, and we pledge it under God, liberty and justice for all. Well, it is, I think, a, a disservice to that pledge and a dishonor to God whom we evoke in that if we don't do in our work here uh, work that promotes liberty and justice for all. 
And that's what this bill does. It's about justice for all, all who want to express themselves in a way so they can bargain collectively, so that workers have the strength and the leverage to strengthen our middle class, to reach the fulfillment for their families, to make our democracy stronger. I believe that this bill, the Employee Free Choice Act, is an, an honest continuation of the pledge that we make in the morning for liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Madam Speaker. General Lady, you